Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. It's a beautiful fall day here today, and I'm getting ready to put gravel down on my driveway, and then we're also going to put sidewalks in at some point, probably next year, actually. Uh, but before I get all this final and done, I want to just take the time to replace the water line from the well house to the house. And the reason for that is, um, number one, I guess the line is pretty old, but in addition to that, we've taken the dirt down here probably a good foot and a half from what it used to be. So right in this area, uh, there's a good probability that this water line could freeze going across from the well house to the house. So we're just going to put a new water line in from the house to the well house. Like I said, the old water line comes in kind of in the front, right underneath the front door, which is not really going to be practical for getting to. Also, I have my main electrical lines that feed in right there. Uh, so I have a couple options for connecting into the house. Um, one option would be I have a water hydrant down over there and I, there's a water line that goes from the house to there and I could dig and intersect that water line but oh, the problem with that is I have an electrical line going right there going to this little garage I have a gas line coming right here for propane and then also once I dig down to that water line here uh, that connects to that hydrant like I was saying uh, there's also the sewer line and two electrical lines going out to the septic system. So ugh, there's just a lot of stuff I'd have to cross and mostly this electrical and gas line here, they're just kind of a pain to cross. So oh, I think I'm gonna dig up right next to the house and go through the foundation, which is not gonna be easy either because of the amount of rock and thickness of this foundation. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay. <clears throat> Now, uh, I've talked to myself, actually, my wife helped talk me out of the other things that I was also going to do at the same time. And I want you to comment down below and let me know uh, how you deal with this. Okay, so you can overthink things, obviously, and you can, uh, there are so many options for like ways to future-proof, and I'm very much the type of person that thinks about future-proofing everything. So, uh, I'm taking all the way to the house or over to that water line and there's also a sewer line over there okay that goes to the septic so it's really hard for me because i feel like right now i should take the time to dig in the sewer line uh, and put a sewer line in from the house to the well house uh, or from over by where the back goes sitting there i could connect down below that and the reasons for that would be uh, I could have a floor drain in the bottom of my well house because earlier this summer when we got 10 inches of rain, the well house flooded and some water ran back down the well casing, which causes a lot of headaches. <sighs> so that's one reason. And then also I'd have a drain over here if I ever wanted to add a bathroom in the garage. So, oh man, I'm talking myself back into it again. But anyway, you see the problem. Uh, there are just so many things that you could future proof for that it it's like limitless. You could spend your whole life future proofing and even if you only end up using one or two of the things that you future proofed for, uh, so frustrating. So anyway, right now, um, I think we're gonna skip that. We're gonna just do a water line and try to keep it simple because um, otherwise I'm just gonna, I'm running out of daylight, I'm running out of time this year to be able to get everything done that I want to get done. So um, Naomi wants me to put the deck on and put a garage door on. And actually, she probably doesn't care as much about the garage, but I do. <laughs> I want to put a garage door on, which means I have to put the deck on. But before I can put the deck on, I got to finish landscaping. In order to finish landscaping, I got to put in the water line. In order to put in the water line, yeah. So you see the problem. And then we can get gravel in here because we don't want to have another terribly muddy spring. Okay, so comment down below and let me know what your opinion is. Do you always future proof or do you sometimes use the kiss principle and keep it simple, stupid, right? <sighs> All right, I better get started. We'll talk to you guys 
in the next video. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like this. And uh, hit that bell icon if you want to be notified about future videos. All right, talk to you later. See ya.